So I am just gonna ignore the fact that I literally might have a problem and I've been shopping way too much recently. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today's video I am going to be filming another. If you don't know, I literally just filmed one of these last week, but I'm going to be filming another ASOS haul. If you guys haven't seen that first ASOS haul, definitely check that out. I got some really cute pieces, but I also had to do a couple returns, which brought me to their website, which then brought me to buying more things. This is what happens to me. The first thing that I do when I'm shopping online is go to the sales section and go to the new in section. And when I went to the new in section, the day I was returning things, let me tell you, I found some super cute stuff and I'm so excited to share with you guys. My style is definitely evolving. I can feel my style getting a little bit more mature and honestly, my style inspiration is Julia Havens. If you guys don't know her, I kind of just discovered her in Hunter about a couple months ago, but literally love them, love everything about them, and obsessed with her style. So I'm kind of getting my inspo from her, and you guys are going to see some super cute pieces. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram if you're new here. It is much appreciated, but let's just get started. So obviously, since this is an ASOS haul, the first thing that I'm going to share with you is what I'm wearing. This is super basic, but honestly, so adorable. I need more basics in my life. My style is very simplistic and basic, and having just a ton of basic pieces, there's literally just an endless opportunity for switching it up and doing different outfits with basic pieces. The first thing that I got is obviously what I'm wearing, and it's basically called a white slim racer tank top. This is not a crop top, but I'm really happy that it's not because I can tuck it into literally anything. I can tuck it into sweatpants jean shorts. I can even kind of tuck it into biker shorts and then pull it out a little bit to make it look less bunched up at the bottom, but I'm obsessed and it actually is such good quality, really soft, and the bra situation is not that see-through, which is also a bonus. I got this tank top in a size 4 and it fits really nicely, again really good quality, and only $13. As you can see in the title, this is on trendy new in basics. You're gonna see a lot of basic pieces, so let's move on. This next thing is basically just your basic black tube top. I haven't worn a tube top in years and I kind of forgot if I liked how they looked on me or if I hated it and I'm honestly in between. I think having a tube top is a really nice basic. This one isn't that cropped which I really like. It does basically cover your entire upper body. I got this in a size 4 and it was also only $8. Like I feel like why wouldn't I pick it up and try it out? For styling options, I feel like I could wear this really with anything, whether that be biker shorts, joggers, jean shorts. That's what's great about basics. You'll be able to see that I literally can wear a lot of these tops with anything. And tube tops literally fold up to nothing. This is insane. This next top is also another tank top. It is in this beige tan sand color. I feel like this one is even better quality than the white one that I'm wearing. I really like this and I haven't had a beige tank top in my life like ever and I think this will go really cute with even some black jean shorts. If you guys haven't seen my last haul check it out. I may have bought some wicked cute black jean shorts. I got this in a size medium. I thought small would be a little too tight on me and the medium fits really well and this was also $13. This next top kind of reminded me like it was from Zara so I really wanted to pick it up because I've seen a lot of girls wearing this type of top from Zara and I saw it on ASOS's website and I'm like I'll take it. Basically this is just a scoop neck black knitted tank top and it's not really that cropped which I really like and the quality is really nice. I got it in a size medium and I feel like you can really dress something up like this and wear some really cute pants and just make it a really snazzy looking outfit. Got this in a size medium and I just looked and it is on sale for $13. I don't remember if I got it when it was on sale. This is kind of going to be a little bit difficult to show you guys so you'll see it in the try on but basically 
This whole thing is a wrap tank top. I wasn't really sure how I would style this in the try on. You'll see that I did try it on with some jean shorts, but I don't know if I love how it looks with jean shorts. I do really like the top. It does fit really nicely, and I feel like it's a really unique piece, especially with like the wooden circles at the top. I did get this in a size four. I was a little worried. I thought I might have had to get a size six, but the four actually fits really nicely. This was $16.50. I do remember getting this in the sale section. I can't really visualize yet what pants I would wear with this. I'm kind of picturing like a straight legged ripped jean kind of like a mom style jean. Let me know what you guys think I should style this with. I literally forgot that I ordered this top and I'm so happy that I ordered it because that color though, I don't think I have anything in my closet that's this color. On camera, I feel like it's coming off a little bit more red, but it is definitely a rusty orange color. And oh my gosh, the quality of this is really, really nice. I got this in a size six and I definitely could have went for a size four because it could have been a little bit tighter on my bust area. Wait, I just looked and realized I know why I got in a size six because it's a petite line. So this is part of their petite clothing, but honestly, I mean, it's not crazy petite. This is kind of cropped, nothing crazy. I think it's gonna look really cute with some jean shorts, even some straight legged mom jeans. I really think this is gonna be adorable. This was $23, so you know, you're paying for what you get. It is definitely good quality. It's always nice to add some color into my wardrobe and I think this is gonna be a really cute piece and I can definitely picture myself wearing it when I start to get really tan. Before I mention the most exciting piece that I purchased of this whole haul that I'm so excited to wear, I'm gonna mention the second most excited thing that I was excited to get. Wow. I wanna mention my new sneakers. It is definitely going to take me a hot minute to get used to wearing these sneakers because they feel very clunky on my feet. I do own the Adidas Falcon sneakers, but to me, those are chunky sneakers that are really light and these are a little bit chunky and they're kind of heavy. I was on the fence of purchasing Air Force Ones and then I started to do my research and started to look at different styles because I feel like everyone has Air Force Ones and I stumbled upon these. I feel like these are literally Air Force Ones, but the Adidas version. These are the Adidas Original Rivalry Low sneakers. Obviously, they're in the color white. I feel like these type of sneakers on me, I have to wear like oversized clothing to really dress them up and look good. It's gonna take some time, and I know my boyfriend Patrick is probably not gonna like these, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> I am really excited to try and style these and I might do an entire like sneaker styling video because I have so many different types of sneakers. So definitely subscribe and keep a lookout for that. Let me know what you guys think. Do we like these sneakers? Do we not like these sneakers? I'm gonna keep them because I feel like I can work with them. I just feel like I kind of have big feet or they look like I have really big feet. I'm a size eight. Some sneakers literally just make me look like I'm Bigfoot. <laughs> Last but definitely not least, this oversized denim shirt. So a few years back, I bought an oversized shirt from Brandy Melville and for the past two years, I have noticed myself wearing it non-stop. It is one of my favorite pieces and it never hurts to get something similar that you also know you're going to outwear, but I feel like that's the purpose of clothes. Like I love overwearing things because then you feel like you got your money's worth. <laughs> So this piece was $45 on a normal day. I maybe wouldn't have spent that much, but ASOS was having their 25% off sale and I wanted to treat myself. If I did sit on this long enough, I maybe would have spent the $45, but honestly, things like this go so quickly on their website. So I just had to purchase it. I got this in a size four. It is a stony beige sandy color. And let me tell you, this thing is adorable. It also just fits so nicely and I have so many outfit ideas that I can put underneath this jacket. I think this shirt will really complement all of my outfits and I'm so excited to style it. I'm literally right now envisioning an outfit that I can maybe put together with these sneakers too. I have a few pieces coming in from Airy, and I can just picture an outfit. It's going to be so cute. Very excited. This is from the brand Misguided. You guys have probably heard of Misguided. I have done an order from them before. Very, very, very tempted to scroll through their website and pick out a few things, but I feel like I've just been doing so much shopping recently. I gotta like 
take it easy. Not as many pieces as the last haul. Again, if you guys haven't seen the last haul, definitely check it out. Reason being, I obviously spent a pretty penny on the sneakers and on that jacket, so I just held myself back from buying a lot of things. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe. I also have an Instagram, as mentioned earlier. Follow me on there. I give a little bit more updates on my life through my Instagram stories than obviously on YouTube because I'm only filming twice a week, but I've been loving it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time.